Good morning, fellow saints, kingdom uh, warriors, you know, all those walking in Christ, even for those not walking in Christ. You can learn something here. Because when you start walking in Christ and you reach full maturity, you're going to look back at this video and say, you know what? He was right. Anyways, enough with the babbling. I want to talk to you about how important it is to evangelize, to go out and preach the gospel. Because Jesus said to the disciples, go out and preach the gospels. gospel to all nations. Cast out demons in my name. Heal the sick. So whatever it is you're calling, because not everybody's an evangelist. Some are, some are set out to be pastors, teachers, evangelists, prophets. You know what I'm saying? So whatever your office is, or whatever it is you're calling that God has gifted you with, always remember that it's important that you utilize, use that gift for, for the glory of God, you know what I'm saying? After all he's pulled you out of and gave you a new life, or you are a new creation, a new creation, feel me? He took you out of that misery, he took you out of that pain, he took you out of your despair, he took you out of everything that was bringing you down, that Satan was grasping on for you, to you, that he was throwing that in you, you know what I'm saying? He took it all off of you, and now you have the peace. You, why do you have the peace? Because you have Jesus. He gives you all the peace you need. Jesus said, come to me, you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, lay your burdens on me, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. There's nothing you can't give him that he won't take off of you. And you feel totally renewed. You know what I'm saying? A new, a new man in life. I mean, a new man in Christ. The old is old and the new is new. The old man has withered away. You know what I'm saying? So when I say man, I say mankind, male and female. Don't get it twisted. Anyways, you gotta cherish it. You gotta cherish it just for the fact that he brought you to the point where you are right now in your life with him. He brought you to this point. Why stop? And if you haven't been doing it, start now. Start now, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Jesus is coming soon. The signs are already here. All you gotta do is look on CNN, YouTube, and other media, and everything that's been prophesied has happened to this point, has already happened. And don't think it's gonna get better. It's gonna get worse. But we are covered by the blood of Jesus. And God will make a way for us, you know what I'm saying? We are already selected and we are protected. We're never neglected. And these vessels he has selected. You feel me? So all you gotta do Continue to walk in Christ, stand strong and stand strong in your faith and stand strong in Christ and do what God has appointed you and anointed you to do. Me, myself, I'm not a pastor. I'm not an apostle. I'm not a prophet. To me, those, those are just titles. You know what I'm saying? Those are just titles. I don't even give myself a title. I'm just a humble servant of the Most High God. I'm a humble servant of the Lord. So when people ask me, uh, I'm on the street evangelizing, are you a pastor? I say, no, I'm not a pastor. Because the pastor, the office of a pastor and the office of an apostle and the office of a bishop and the office of all the office, they're all different. They're all different offices. Evangelism isn't even an office. It's not even an office. It's a command that Jesus gave us. It's something that we do because we love Jesus. 
we are filled with the Holy Spirit. We don't love the world, no, but we love every brother and sister outside, out there, I mean, out in the world. We don't love the world, but we love every brother and sister that's in the world, especially the ones that need to hear the truth, the gospel of Jesus, you know what I'm saying? The ones that are walking in darkness, the lost souls. You know, a lot of them go to church, and it's like a repetitive thing with them. They go to church Sunday or whatever day, and they just sin and sin and keep on sinning, and they're not getting nothing out of the church because the church is not guiding them, or the church is not helping them, or the church is not reaching out to them, and they don't have one-on-one. -on -one. Um, a lot of people go to, well, I'm not going to mention, well, actually, I have a friend named Gerardo. He goes to church on Sundays, and you know what? He's a Catholic. And um, when he's at church, it's like maybe 800, 900 people there at the Basilica, the, the, whatever. And uh, he doesn't even know his pastor's name. He doesn't even have his pastor's phone number. He has no communication and or, or no 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 uh relationship with the pastor so if he if he wants advice who does he go to hmm yeah i mean sure you can go to you can go to scriptures you can go in the bible and learn a lot you know what i'm saying god will talk to you but what kind of what kind of church is that where the pastor doesn't even know your first name or doesn't even know you exist you know what i'm saying because sometimes we need a one-on-one -on -one. Sometimes we need somebody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? We're going through some stuff. We need somebody to talk to. We need some advice. I can call my pastor right now. And I have a one-on-one -on -one with him. And tell him, look, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Can you pray for me? Um, uh, can you tell me what I should do or whatever? Because none of us have all the answers. You know what I'm saying? So we need guidance. Yes, Christians can guide us. Of course we do. But the Holy Spirit guides us in each and every way because Jesus said, I am the truth, the life, and the way. Amen? So he guides us every day. Everything we do is not for us. It's not for It's for the kingdom. You feel me? And I'm uh, right about it. So uh, in, 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 in all actuality, your gift, your calling, is what God's will is for your life. Because God's plan for us is to come to the end of ourselves. When you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and, and you walk with Christ every day, when you accepted Jesus, that was the end of yourself that was the end of the flesh that was the end of the world that you're living in you know your, your the stuff you used to do it's ended you don't know how that's the end of that life that's the end of yourself you begin a new life with Jesus when you accept him God's plan is for us to come to the end of ourselves and follow his will follow his will you know what I'm saying? It came a time when I got saved and I was going to church and I was happy and whatnot, but I was still dipping. I was still dipping in this sin. I was still dipping into that sin. I was still doing things that I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing, but I was a baby Christian. I haven't reached full maturity. You know what I'm saying? But now, I'm not having none of it. I ain't having it. You know what I'm saying? None of that. I walk in Jesus, I walk with Christ every day, every day of my life because I wake up in the morning and it's not about what I want to do, it's like what can I do for the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? And as far as evangelizing, I love it. I love going out preaching the gospel, different, different parts of D.C., Maryland and Virginia, you know what I'm saying? Or wherever I can go, I'm going to go. If I, if I had enough funds right now, I'd go all across the world all across the world if I had it like that if I had money like that me and um, Sister Joan 
and Swag Ministries. We will go all around the world and do that, but uh, it's not a possibility right now because it costs money to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a limited income. But uh, it's all good, you know, because God will provide a way when there seems to be no way. God will provide a way. But uh, my main concern is just doing what I can do, and I know the Lord will provide the rest because it says, Acknowledge me in all thy ways, and I will direct thy path. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the rest will be added later. Am I right about it? So people don't get discouraged, you know what I'm saying? If you don't do what the uh, evangelist can do, don't get discouraged. If you can't do what a pastor does, don't get discouraged. If you don't feel that God has called you, he will. And, and when he does call you, answer that call. Answer that call. Because if you ask me, if anybody would ask me, if any of my friends would have asked me, did I know I was going to be an evangelist? Did I know that I was going to be saved? Did I know that I was going to be baptized in the blood of Jesus? Did I know I'd be walking in Christ right now? I would say no. Because I didn't know I was going to be an evangelist. I didn't know I was going to get baptized. I didn't know I was going to be saved. I didn't know how much I love Jesus to this day. I mean, on this day, at this point in my life, you know what I'm saying? Because back then I was doing things that was contrary to scriptures. I was doing things that was rebellious to scriptures. I was rebellious to God. I was disobeying. I was disobedient. I was walking in the darkness, you know what I'm saying? I was having sin parties every day. But that's what, that's what, I'm, that's what my point is. You don't know when you're chosen. You don't even know if you're chosen. But my point is, when God calls, answer. Answer that call. When Jesus knocks on the door, open it. Open the door and let him in. Let him in. Amen? So, uh, y'all have a good day. Be blessed. And I hope this message reaches out to somebody out there. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter who. Doesn't matter who. Love you all.